The heavy police presence here tells it all. This is a crime scene. The residents will not be left out, and they too gather to see what will be discovered by the investigators here. This is the Director of Public Prosecutions, Mike Chibita, visiting the crime scene, where his deputy, Joanne Kagezi, met her end after being shot by unknown assailants, trailing her on a motorcycle Monday evening. He stares powerlessly and appalled at the senseless crime committed here, and unable to do anything, he strolls away. Kagezi was reportedly shot by two assailants who had been trailing her on a border border motorcycle. According to police, Kagezi was shot dead at about 7.45 p.m. This resident tells us he had the gun shots, but didn't actually see the assailants. We are to the so, the chat was a ruined. Never must ever say only one to cover the cookie. Everybody wants answers, and the journalists are relentless. But the CID director, Grace Akulo, remains tight lipped. The investigation has to go on. Mike Chibita says that Kagezi had rejected any additional security, saying she was secure enough. A new battle has been opened up against uh, judicial officers and uh, state attorneys, law enforcement in general, because uh, in, the, in the history of this country, I think this is the first time that uh, a prosecutor is uh, shot, we believe, in the line of fire. Because uh, she was coming from, from duty, and as you know, she's handling some very, very many cases. We don't know yet uh, what they think, but uh, the natural suspicion. To him, this crime will not go unpunished, and it will not deter the prostitution from doing their duty. Well, this is new for, for all of us in the profession, but uh, in case it was meant to scare and intimidate, I would like to assure the whole country that uh, we are the directorate, this uh, just increases our resolve to fight crime. By Tuesday morning, a team of detectives led by the director of CID, Messrs. Grace Akulo and Inspector General Police General Kali Kaihura, had dust to Nigeria in the Kira Town Council where the incident had happened. This, as the reports indicate, plans are to have her buried on Wednesday. My soul, rest in peace.